It all kind of looks the same to us because we humans don't spend a lot of time just staring at the ocean. But just like on land where there's rainforests and deserts and all these different types of environments, the ocean is the exact same way. It's really important if we want to learn about how plankton and how ocean, living things in the ocean contribute to global climate, then we need to understand how things work in the different types of ocean ecosystems. So the oceans are changing, that is a fact, and, and having ocean color satellites that we currently have in the space allow us to monitor that change over a long period of time. Having knowledge who's there in the ocean could inform their decisions about policy, about should I go and fish for tuna here because there's lots of yummy food or not, things like that. So ultimately this would be really, really of the benefit of the society. I think what we can get out of this cruise is ways to better look at ocean color data and uh, coming up with ways of looking at that data that can tell us about climate change, about coastal water quality, so things that, you know, in the long run really matter. I think the team that worked on this cruise is pretty awesome. Um, I took great care in choosing who I'm going to invite on a cruise, and it's really important because if you have a good research team, it's more of a synergy, so it's not just additive, but you really come out to results that surpass your greatest expectations. All of these different people with different perspectives, but everybody is interested in the same question. And when you have people thinking about the same question in a different way and with different educational backgrounds, then you're gonna have a much better chance of actually answering it. I've been on cruises that have a diverse science party before, but never with the diverse science party so focused on sort of one overarching theme. So it's been really cool to have basically everybody on the cruise working on very similar problems. We've been sampling and doing our, our measurements in various sea states. Uh, I mean, in the morning, in the middle of the night, uh, in rough seas and calm seas, it doesn't really matter. We've been, we've been out just chugging away and trying to get the best measurements that we can. So. There's huge challenges to making observations at sea always. One of the challenges is is imaging something so small and um, making it able to survive in, you know, under extreme pressure and, uh, you know, potentially quite bad weather. Uh, the most memorable part for me, so the second time we did, the second station we did, halfway between Hawaii and California, um, the weather was ridiculously rough. And I was really worried we weren't actually going to be able to spot my little sediment trap drifting out of the ocean when we went to go pick it up. Uh, but there were three albatrosses that were flying around, so that actually, I think, helped people spot it when we, we actually got close in these huge waves. I think it was like four meter waves at the time. Most of the science that we were doing here, it's going to push into the boundaries of the comfortable science. We're testing many new technologies. So on this expedition, I brought state-of-the-art instruments. And at the same time, I was also taking the opportunity to try out things that hadn't been made before. One of the things that I'm the most excited about, because I think it was a success for its first deployment, was this uh, waterproof housing for an iPhone. It took nice pictures of the bottom side of this gel. We have a little... Um, shark deterrent on here now after the first deployment got attacked by a white shark and uh, amazingly this thing well it looks pretty bomb proof it survived we have you know tested two or three new instruments two or three new approaches and all of them actually gave us information so I think since we don't analyze things so much here but we take it home I think the surprise is just yet to come I'm feeling great about it. We've got some very interesting data. Um, having such a range of scientists looking at particles in different ways is going to be a, a fascinating thing to look at after the cruise. We're looking to very exciting next year in front of us with the data analysis and hopefully great papers to come and I'm ready to go home. <laughs>